Hey everybody, welcome back to some more Dragon Fable. So recently I've been doing like an entire quest line in a single video. I'm not really going to be doing that anymore now, unless it's like a really short storyline. It's been kind of annoying to get videos out, so I've been missing a couple of uploads here and there. Because it's quite stressful like recording for like over an hour and then editing it down into a much smaller video. It's not because I'm a lazy piece of shit, I'm just... Guess that'll be annoying. So last time, we did the pirates and the ninjas questline for the wind up, which as you can see, we have the wind up here, which indicates I've completed the objectives to recover the wind up. So now we're on Moon Ridge, or the Necropolis, I should say, or the start of the darkness orb section. Deep within Doomwood, Attic's the pod that faces the undead. He needs your help to put a stop to the necromancers of the necropolis and find out who or what exactly is behind the undead swarm in the land. Quests Battle for Moon Ridge through Artics vs. the Undead. I did say recently that I wanted to get a paladin, so after this video, I'm going to fully train it for the next one. And the main reason why I don't want to do this whole quest in one video is because it's quite long. We have to do all of these. Except these two, because these two are coming later. To put it into perspective, because people are confused. This is this part, and then those other two quests are all the way down here. So we're going to do those much later on in the book. The Undead are causing havoc all over Doomwood. So I've already done this. This is the extra little quest we did in Amateurville, where we helped Arctic kill all the skeletons in their castle. This is also the place you find the Doom Essence. For anyone curious, so save Moonridge. There is one town to do with that has managed to avoid being tainted by the darkness, swallowing this land, Moonridge. As much as I want to get into this door and stop the necromancers in the necropolis, the people of Moonridge need our help first. Their town has been attacked by waves of the undead. We have to find out who is behind this. Gather 5 undead slayer badges from the waves of the undead to unlock the boss fight. Battle for Moonridge. The purple necromantress army attacks. An army of the undead has invaded Moonridge. The last human town to resist the darkness of Doomwood. The villain behind this is not other than the purple necromantress who has attacked Falkreach each Friday the 13th. Battle alongside Artex to save the town. And finally bring the Necromancer to justice. So we have to do five of these to unlock the boss. These also have this. But I don't really want to do this. <laughs> it's kind of that Pfizer Rock Law type quest. So we have a bunch of enemies here. So light minus 100. Good for us. And for our takes, certainly. So they should do... Yep, there you go. I was about to say it should do a lot. It's a good thing we can... Well, it's kind of like a bit annoying that we have to do five. But you'd kill the enemy so quick. Like, if you get a light weapon equipped, you could just, like, one-shot most of these enemies. The only guy that we couldn't one-shot was the first guy. You have cleared the streets of the invading undead, but the waves keep coming. If you can clear them all, maybe you and Nathis have found out the reason for the attacks. Undead Slay Badge, which we need. Also, the one... Another thing I want to say about this. To get the Destiny weapon... You have to purify it. You have to get a doom weapon and then purify it. And then use um, the undead slay badges to upgrade the weapons from there. And the reason why I mention that is because at the start of the next video, as they said I want to fully train the paladin class, I also want to fully upgrade a destiny weapon. Which is why I haven't spent my gold. I have like... 24,000 in like 4 more thousand which will farm for next video I'll be able to buy a doom weapon and purify it turn it into destiny weapon which I think will be really cool for our paladin to have and um getting a destiny weapon with grid is actually quite easy you just have to farm this like a bunch that is not the full upgrade though because obviously the full upgrade you have to do loads of other stuff you also have to do some in-challenge content and get some collectibles, collectibles, materials. So it's a lot of work, but yeah, it's fine. 
And plus, like, fully upgrading a Destiny weapon. Well, to the highest upgrade that we can get with the under slayer badges. That'll be really powerful. Like, for our level, it'll be better than uh, the weapon we've got now. Also, I kind of want to get the Paladin now. And kind of use it a little bit in this uh, video. I won't fully upgrade it now, obviously, because I don't really want to be here all day. Well, not all day, but I don't really want to be here like an hour. Wasting all of your time. But I'm going to get it now. Just so I can play with it. And we'll let Artix do most of the work. I sound very, very impatient. And I guess I am, but I'm really excited to use it because the pattern was always like my favourite class in the game. But recently it got updated. I don't know when, I think it was like a year or two ago. Which again I will say like in the terms of Dragon Fable that is fairly recent considering how old this game is. I've not actually used the new Paladin and I'm really excited to try it out because it's actually a lot better than the old Paladin, I think. Alright, so we've unlocked the boss fight. Zorbak, what are you doing here? Meh, you guys have an undead invasion and I do not get an invite. Someone is coming. I must say, warrior, I mean, I'm surprised that you and your friends defeated my arm of the undead minions. So you are the necromancer behind this? Necromantress with an S. Oh man, it's a uh, meh. I've seen this girl around here before, mid nerd. How is my fair? Do I smell okay? This girl? Huh. I'm the most powerful necromantress in the entire necropolis. I aced all of my finals. Your finals? Evil and smart. I think I'm in love. Yes. The Necropolis is home to the largest school of necromancy on the face of law. And I was the top student. Cheers. So, perfect. Your army has already been defeated. You are powerless. Surrender now, or else. Ah, uh, is that like a true hero? You and your little blue pet there. Pet? <laughs> Meh. You listen here. The only one who's going to take over the world is me. So you might as well quit that Necro Trump club right now and join me or meh. At least give me your number. <laughs> so back. What? Meh. She's hot. Well, it's been nice chatting, but I have souls to steal and a new army of undead to... You summon me, master? Excellent time, Alpha. Hero, I'd like to meet my senior project, the Alpha Abomination. I met it myself. You must run, heroes. I must run, heroes. Good to see you, Alpha. Take care of them to school. Sorry, Minert. An evil Moglin's got to do what an evil Moglin's got to do. Hey, Nekriel, wait for me. I like how we didn't see this guy coming. He's, he's very big. I nearly pressed the extreme mode. I probably wouldn't have been quite sad if I did that. Let's get this. This guy's quite tanky, but I think she'll be obliterated him with... Oh, I'll do this first because it lowers the light resistance, which will also be really good for me because I also have a light weapon. So, 458. Damn. That's nice. Let's uh, see what Artix does. With his ultimate light combo attack. <laughs> wow. A lot, basically. Victory. So this Necrantress is behind the attacks. Once again, the pale rip Necrantress has escaped into the dark reach of Doomwood. If that really is an entire city of Necrantress below your feet, then now takes his right. You must get in that door. In the next release, the Transfer Community Ridge you're about to have a celebration in your honour. I think it's really interesting as you learn how to open the door to the Necropolises. Necropolises? That makes sense. The Pearl Rope Necromantress may have escaped, but Moon Ridge have been safe from air creations. If all of those monsters came from one Necromantress, imagine what an entire class of them could do. You have to find a way into the Necropolis. Become a Paladin. And wear the armor. Where we got it?
Oh, there you go. Where am I? I haven't got any attacks, so I'm gonna probably get it wrecked. But I am gonna farm a couple more tokens, red tokens? Slayer badges. Really quick. Oh, look at that paladin. I love paladin so much. Alright, so this is new to me, so I did read about this before, so we have requires oh, five inner light to smite. We also have you hold back your inner light to unlock light element skills. Suppress so plus one in life for light skills. Yo, you restore your inner light, allowing it to grow again. Okay, so I think this thing, like you can let it grow and build up. Or you can turn it on, I think, like, you get, like, a damage and defense buff. But, I can't remember. Or you get a, I don't really know, I'm going to have to look things up. Inner light at one. Aegis. Holy Aegis. Uh. Self 160 avoidance for one turn. Oh, we also have this. It one hit 100% damage. It would go with 15 MP. Heal 1% max HP. That's pretty cool. In the light stacks, decrease health res by 1 per, per max 20. Improved healing. So you get max 20, meaning 20% 20 more healing, which is pretty cool. I spend 1 in the light to unlock the element of light skills. Or 5 in the light to smite for 100 base damage on any activating skill. So that's double the damage on the skills. Which is use 5 in the light. So basically I think the elements, the attacks are locked to light. But this unlocks the element. I'm going to have to do a lot of research though. Because these things, like I really love this class. But I really hate picking up new classes that. I either haven't used in a long time, or I don't really know what they do. It's because I'm kind of like lost, and I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> it's weird for me, me with Paladins, the reason why I'm the Paladin is my favourite class. It's because like in any game, when it's like a fantasy game or an MMO, you know, RPGs, like Dungeons and Dragons stuff, like Paladins are always my go-to. I love paladins a lot for some reason it's like you get using the holy light to smite your foes and all that shit it's really cool like the whole like crusader type stuff really fascinated by all that and as well when I get my destiny weapon it look really cool with this class I mean like destiny weapons are basically the paladin weapon <laughs> like if you're a paladin you need to have a destiny weapon it's like the must go to it's like the must have I just realised as well, I'm probably going to want to buy the armour closet in my house. That would make a lot more sense because I don't really want to have to go to Attics to equip this every time. One, I'm lazy and two, that's annoying. Yeah, so I'm assuming like when you get five turns or you generate five in a light, you can do a massive attack maybe on the enemies. I don't even know. Oh, you know, so this be them. Effect on like that attack scan crit. So it's like intelligence built with the paladin. It's like pretty bad. Not bad. I don't really want to say bad, but I know for a fact that intelligence builds are not the best. The intelligence increases crit damage. Alright, so I've got a few more skills unlocked. I'm not really going to bother with any more. I think we're okay so far. You did it. Main Ridge has been saved. The mayor has sent a letter inviting us to a party to be held in our honour. It would mean a lot to these people if we show up. Are you ready to go to Moonridge? Good people of Moonridge. Whoa, Yahoo, hooray. Lend me our ears. Whoa, yeah, hooray. Someone threw an actual ear up there. Ew, Sally, <laughs> leave those leftover zombie parts on the ground. Lend me your eyes. <laughs> Sally, no throwing on dead monster parts of the nice mare. Lend me your heart. Okay. Seriously, Sally, put that down. <laughs> You're in so much trouble when you get home, young lady. Today we celebrate the saviors. Sava sava that makes sense. Saviors of our home. Behold our heroes. Midnight and Attics. Huzzah! 
All hail Artix and Mid Nerd. Hooray, thank you for Mid. Thank you, Mid Nerd. The Selfsy came to Moonridge to rescue us and defeat. Defeated a horde of undead invaders. For this, I am proud to give you the key to the city. Yay, Skeleton Key. Oh, a Skeleton Key. <laughs> we have a big night planned, including pin, pin the tail on Harvey, the tailless donkey. But. First, Midnight, Attics. If there's ever anything the grateful people of Moonridge can ever. Excuse me, Mayor. I would like to meet and thank our heroes personally, Mr. Mac. So the two of you single handedly defeated the Necromantress and the Nami. We did our best. Hey, that was my line. You go first. Stop copying me. Stink a doodle. Whoa, that was weird. Defeating Undead Army of that strength requires a great deal of skill and power. That was quite impressive. Let me be the first to thank you personally, thank you, Mertens. Please forgive her, Harris. Lady Vale is very strange. Did you say Vale? It is. Just that I knew a girl named Vale once when I was a young boy. Impossible. This cannot be that little boy I met during the... Could this be the same veil I met when I was a little boy? Sally, get out there this instant. I thought I told you to stop playing with the... Rumble, rumble. Well, Mum, look. When I put this thing under the stage with a stick, it moves. He... Uh, um, gee. <laughs> Why did I ever move here? I guess most people wonder that. Not very nice place. Attics. He's gonna get crushed. Attics, he... He saved me. Let me help you. I can hold. That monster has grabbed the little girl. You have to save her. Nods. I'm on it. Just be careful. He looks heavily armed. Alright. Hey, you big pile of bones. Over here. I don't think we should bother saving guy. It's kind of their fault. Alright, so I like how I think this is here. He just let Vale get crushed under that big piece of wood. He just thought, oh, fuck it, I need to help kill this guy. Oh, we actually have a lot of stuff. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I don't know why I'm surprised I literally just upgraded them. Was Sabi? Oh, we have a now Sabi attack so we can throw like a bottle of Artix's shit at them. One hit 100% damage. Self. Hedge damage over times and heals 60% max, max HP. 35% damage over time for one turn. That's really cool. So we have a. Uh, it gets rid of self damage, damage over times on ourself, heals 60% HP, and gives a damage over time on the enemy, and is a normal 100% hit. That's pretty cool. Earth. Radiant armaments. 100%, 120% damage. Self, 30 bonus, 40 defences, 6% base damage, that's pretty good. Minus 400 crit. Tends to into radiant spirit when used. Into increases radiance. Radiant stacks enhance most skills. Okay. We also have Swords of Eternity. One hit, 250% damage to all targets. That's pretty cool, multi-attack. And then only has one turn cooldown, so we can use a... Is it every turn if it's a one turn? I can't remember. Seven hits, doing turn light damage, 140% total. Target auto, minus 30 mobility resist, so we can stun them a bit easier. On hit, stun for three turns, so it's a stun as well. And it charges one in the light. So is this the only attack that gives it in the light? So far, yes. Let's go do. Uh, let's go do this then, or I don't test this out. So it's a decent heal. Alright, let's try Oath. It's only 10 mana cost. Some of these are quite cheap, like this one's quite cheap as well. Then to get in it is a multi attack. So let's go see what this can do then. 2% base damage, I don't understand what that means. Oh! So, this is basically... 
telling me that I have a damage increase, I guess. Let's go do this. Oh, let's have a look at this, sir. Radiant Earth. Damn, Earth Spirit, here you go. I can't use this. Oh, it's 110 cooldown. Okay, let's see what it does then, so. Two hits are 90% damage, 100 energy total. Plus 5 for bonus, 60 defenses, 90 base damage, minus 4 under crit, for 5 tens. How much does Earth last, the first one? Uh, six, seven tens because it's, we've already gone one turn. It turns into radiant papers when used. Increases radiance. Radiant stack increase most skills. Okay. So does that mean it turns into like an additional thing? It's pretty cool. So all all damage type. Let's try this. So seven hits, twenty percent light damage. So and it's a stun. Ooh, that was fun. <laughs> it's like a little machine gun of attacks. I kind of want to skip Arctic's at 10. Let's try this then. Ship good on the other. That's a pretty cool looking attack. Uh, we'll skip the dragon as well. Alright, so yes, it is like a one, a down, like every other turn. I wish it was like an every turn. Feel like how when you have the rage artifact on the dragon lord. It lets the multi in so you can use it every turn. I would prefer that, uh, but this looks pretty cool. 90 base damage, 90%. That was a little bit overkill. I don't really know what it means though. Does it mean like, when you have the 90% base damage, does it mean that you have just 90% base damage extra? Or does it mean like, I don't really know because normally it would mean like a 90% boost. Or well, a 90 boost in this case. So yeah, I'm not too sure, but I guess I'll find out soon. Are you alright, little girl? That was fun. Can I go again? She's fine. I didn't see Lady Veil vale step away, but I guess she's fine too. Maya, did anyone get hurt? Nobody was hurt, thanks to you two. Well, almost nobody. When the monster fell, it fell on top of Harvey, the tailless donkey. Everyone else is fine, Harvey's dead. Speak to me, Harvey. <laughs> the party just won't be the same without you. <laughs> I was waiting until the celebration to tell you about this, but now seems a good time as ever. I know that you two are trying to get down into the necropolis, and I think I know how you can do it. Listen carefully. Phew, that was a close one, but another party can really start. Well, it can't because Harvey's dead. It looks like Lady Vale and Artix have some history. Maybe you can ask him about it later. Right now, the keep to the Acropolis awaits. Right, I'll do one more quest, so the Outcast. The mayor gave me direction to the house of one of the Doomwood's necromancers. I guess he was a little bit of an outcast. I do not like dealing with necromancers, necromancers, but this might be our only chance to get inside the Acropolis. Okay, so, oh, Artix has disappeared. That's a bit annoying. No point really using these ones in well, smaller fights. I don't really have a really cool, like, blasts, you know, like a good bear skill yet. But I guess I get one, because most classes have them. Alright, so I definitely want Artix with me. I generally feel a little bit weaker when we don't have any friends. Well, when I don't have all my skills, pretty much. Right, so I did. I'm just going to test something, because that's 5874, and it's 100%, so it'll do that much. If I use this, will it, because it gives you the 6% base damage, but does it also mean that it gives the base damage on that attack on its initial hit? I don't really know, I don't, I don't think so. It's already 120 percent damage attack. Oh you know what I just thought? I'm gonna have to have a look at the customization options for this class. There's probably been a few new ones since I last used it. That will be really cool to have a look. Not that I don't like the way this looks, I can really like the way this looks. And I might even keep this look. It's like got that like typical paladin like appearance, I really like it. And that concludes this week's Ask Zorbak. Thanks for your stupid questions, huh? 
it twillies us hanging in the background. Pod twilly. That's not play, Zorbak. Gah. Don't you be able to know how to knock? What do you want? Can't you see that I'm busy? Indeed. We need your help. Forget how to you tie your shoes again, Paladin. Meh. Eh. Actually, we head around the mayor of Moon Ridge, though you might have a way to get us into Acropolis. Meh. Why would you care about that place? They're all losers in there. I've better idea, Midnight. How about we get some crossbows and make this paladin holy? Meh. Enough jokes, Zorbak. Meh. Who's jerking? We really need your help to get inside the Necropolis. Do you have some kind of key you can use? I still have my old student ID to Necro University, but why bother with those necromancers? If you want to face the insuperable creation of a true necromancer, repay yourself. I go forth my latest and greatest creation. A snail. A snail on my about. <laughs> I don't know why I called it a snail, I was about to say, I was about to say turtle. Shelaton. Really? What do you mean, really? He's a masterpiece. Sawback, why is just a turtle with a skull on his back? Silence. You are not let your fear overcome you. Meh. Okay. Let it overcome you a little. Tremble with fear at the sight of this terrifying shelaton. But as you can see the glue, that's just pure raw evil leaking out. Enough of this. Base our doom. Shelton. Attack. <laughs> uh, this is taking a while. If I have to sit through this, you, you will have to do too. Zorak, don't you have a hair spell or something? We've really got things to do. Meh. Hold on a sec. Let's see here. Melf's anti-acid medication? Heh. Uh, no. Detect visibility? That sounds really useful. Meh. Belly zipper? Easy to install? Whoa. Saving that one for later. Meh. Here we go. Got it. Big skeleton. Meh. Whoops. Says grow fast, not go fast. Oh well, close enough. Destroy these fools, my pet. What are you waiting for? <laughs> Meh. What are you looking at me for? Oh. Uh, getting chased by his massive skeleton. What are you two. Noobs waiting for. Stop being heroes. Save me. I've got an idea, Zorbeck. I will give you a hand if you give me a student ID to the necropolis. Meh. Deal. Throws at us. Necromancist University. Student ID card, Zorbeck. Student ID 443556. Student status expelled. Why would he give us an expelled card? I mean, how is that going to get us into the university? Right, I'm going to skip a few turns again. So I want to test out this. So, 90 base damage plus. I see it does have an extra one. Okay. 3 hits of 80% damage. 60 bonus, 80 defenses, 120 base damage percent. That looks, sounds really good. He's going to die when he use it though, so it's not really going to help us. Oh, the ring's like bigger as well. So I'm assuming it's going to like build up. So what does this do then? Smite. You harness your inner light to smite your fur. 100 base damage. Oh, that's really cool. Minus 400 crit, but double the damage. Oh, this is really cool. Uh, so I'll just do a normal attack and see what it does. 281. Damn. Was he weak, weak to light? It was only about like 20, wasn't it? That's really cool. There. Now we're even. Get out. Expelled. Yeah, they kicked me out. Those losers have no idea what a real dinosaur magic is. They were... Meh. 
scared of my unstoppable power. But I'll show them, meh. I'll show all of them, meh. He. Alright, Artics. We have a way inside the Necropolis. This is where our quest truly begins, my friend. <laughs> Who knows that horrors await us in the depths of Necropolis? Now that you have Zorbach's student ID, even though it looks nothing like you, it's expired and he was expelled. You might be able to get into the Necropolis. If it's expired and expelled, then probably not. Level 35 ring. That's a lot better than what we've got. Alright, so I'm gonna leave this on here, so next time we're gonna continue on the quest line with the gatekeeper. And then we'll try and finish it all in the next video. So, but either way, thank you for watching that. I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye.